Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Factorio with the Roadworks mod installed. I am your host Alex and you are currently watching Epcot Gaming. Now, uh, when I last left off, I believe we were uh, attempting to expand our territory a little bit to the north in order to get more copper ore. And my game's being slow for some reason. Um, and with that, I went ahead and used up quite a bit of uh, ammunition, apparently. But, uh, yeah. Because as you can see, our copper ore is kind of slowed down to a trickle. Uh, there's actually, wow, three, four, quite a bit of miners that aren't really doing anything. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and pick up the ones that aren't doing anything. Including these guys. And we might as well pick up those fast belts. That's always something good. We'll leave that splitter for right there, or for right now. And the, uh, miner that's injured, let's go ahead and put him down and get him repaired. Um, why can't I put him down? Oh, I suppose there's no material to mine out. That would more than likely be the issue. Alright, so... Now there is, let's go to the map view really quick. Uh, there is this deposit up here, which is relatively safe, but there's also the, this larger deposit deposit here, uh, which I think is where I'm going to expand to um, right away. Um, it does have a nest relatively nearby, but it's only three spawners, I believe, and that should be easy enough to clear out. So. Uh, that being said, let's get out of that view. And, uh, ooh, they're actually tearing down some walls. That's not ideal. Let's go ahead and replace. Do I not have any walls? Yeah, I do. Let's go ahead and replace that. And, uh, got the side hatch here. So basically what my plan is going to be is um, I'm going to run rail down from that copper facility down to around here or so, and that's going to be my rail depot. Um, and we can kind of go from there as far as that goes. Um, it would be beneficial to have a car, but I really don't really don't feel like uh, going to pick up more engine units, so I'm just going to walk for right now. And this is the copper deposit that I'm talking about right here. Now, we do have quite a bit of biters filtering around, but uh, yeah, I think most of them are just getting spawned right here and working their way over and down and all that good stuff. Um, so, it's getting destroyed. Ah, get all the way up here, and I gotta go deal with my main base. Something apparently didn't uh, get protected like it should have been. So let's see what all is damaged down here. Um, wow, we've got quite a bit of damage being dealt. There 
I'll say these damn things. This one over here. Come on. All right, so. Oh, this one right here. You guys are probably yelling at my screen. <laughs> but the thing is, I play this muted so that I don't get feedback with the uh, sound. So I did not hear that. All right, so what all do I need to get everything beef backed up? Uh, do I have a pipe factory? I don't think I do. No, doesn't look like it. So, where's my... We'll use this box for right now. So I need three underground pipes. We can go ahead and put those in there. We'll make one more set of them. Need two normal pipes. We'll just make five of them. And apparently out of copper. Alright, so come on. Come on, game. There. There. Oh, uh, what else do I need? Electric furnace and a uh, robot port. So we'll go ahead and get those made up. Now I'm kind of curious to see where those biters got in. Um, because that's not a good thing, typically. All those robots are slowly resupplying me. Alright. So, that should get us back to at least where we were at with all that. And let's go up here. That hole in my uh, wall is bothering me. Let's go ahead and fill that in really quick. If it will let me. I really, really get annoyed by that. There we go. Okay. So we got that taken care of. Let's go up. I'm assuming they came from over here. Oh no, that's pretty, pretty well contained, to be honest. Um, I don't know where they came from. Did they come from the south? I know that's not very well protected. I mean, it is to a point. Let's, uh, do I have any batteries on me? Apparently enough for one laser turret. Uh, let's go ahead and just plop one random laser turret down in the middle of the base to kind of help defend random stuff, I guess. Uh, and we will work on getting that a little bit more refined after I get this uh, copper ore set up because we are in desperate need of copper ore. So, alright. So, let's go out the uh, side door once again. And there are apparently. Alright, so, 
Oh, and I completely forgot about grabbing more engines for a uh, for a car. That's fine. So let's go ahead and clear these guys out. Medium biters hurt. Those medium biters really hurt. Okay. And we've got some distractor capsules, so let's go ahead and throw one of those out there. Kind of help the uh, cause. Throw another one out there. Meanwhile, I can kind of go through the back door here. And pick out this box. Awesome. Oh, there was actually a worm there. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. And of course we get crap for uh alien artifacts, but that's fine. Uh do I have any concrete road on me? I have concrete block. I don't think that really helps me. I have some limestone. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to construct a road uh from the top end of my base there to uh, that copper deposit. And that way I can drive back and forth at will and uh, not have to wait on trains to come by and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get back in here. Um, we'll re rebuild those walls for right now. And looks like I could probably use a clean out of my inventory. Where am I going? Alright. Um, what's going on there? That's not cool. I need. to somehow. Make that stop. Um, let's go ahead and get that road out. And I need to um, come up. that and hopefully that will help there we go and is this that doesn't need yeah that doesn't need fuel at all okay so that solves that problem um, I have a bunch of useless crap in my inventory let's go ahead and get rid of some of this stone uh, some of this fuel And this concrete block I don't need. There. Um, yeah, that should be good for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a couple stacks of this concrete road. What? How did a fighter get in there? What in the world? That was weird. Okay, so get rid of some of that random junk as well. And what we'll do is make a road. From right in here, let's go ahead and start it right here.
we can go straight up with it. Where are all these biters coming from? That's the question I have. Luckily, <laughs> they're kind of uh, ignoring me. Oh, can I not put the... That is just freaky, watching them run right by me. Uh, can I not put the roads around coal? That's kind of weird. So I guess they need to be resource-free. can put it through trees. But not real, not cool. Weird. And there's that bug where it disappears again. Alright. So we'll just call that a uh, curve. Sure. That's the same thing with the limestone, looks like. I'll we'll put a little parking area over here, I suppose. Like so. And we'll just go right back down this way. We'll kind of finish this. Uh, little curved area off. Like so. I'll make it so that it's easier to drive on as well. Because this is going to stretch down. Get those trees out of the way. Because I could definitely see me see myself hitting those. Something like that. Do I want it three wide? Let's go ahead and just keep it two wide and we'll see how that works. Get that tree out of the way too. Go ahead and make this area three wide since it's going to be where I'm curving. Alright, and that's enough for a basic road anyway. So let's go ahead our walls back up and we can go back down here and get a car or get another engine unit to make a car Supplied with ammo. Should probably craft that car. Alright, there's that. I'm going to just use wood for right now since I have so much of it in my inventory. And let's try this out. So, not the best. <laughs> um, I am going to definitely have to make that a little bit more, a little wider, I think. But, kind of horrible first test. 
God, why are those things just running right by me? I have a feeling there's a uh, spawner up to the north there. I'll deal with them when the time comes. Um, for right now, I need to set up my mining operation. So, go ahead and mine this little area out here first, and then I guess we can uh, kind of just start at one corner and work our way over there. And let's go ahead and make uh, no more miners because I don't have any more. And we'll come down something like that, and we'll just keep it all on one line, like so. Okay. Now I need any more copper. That's what I need. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead. and attempt to stay on this road. There. And now we're going to work ourselves around here. Let's clear out some of these trees. I'm going to have to do it anyway. And I need copper. Which, of course, there's no copper. Um, where can I steal some copper from? Right down here. Battery production. So like that, I just need some basic stuff. That's really all I need. Alright, so... coming from. Okay. I need to something here. Alright. Let's get uh, some miners set up. Do I have enough copper for some turrets? I do not. These guys are just annoying me at this point. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up a big pool there. And we'll oops, stretch that down. Something like this. to the other side of it. And hopefully something like that. Okay. So there we go. Got that all said and done. We do have some more miners. So let's go ahead and put those down, along with no electric poles. So we'll have that one. Um, I guess those are the only miners we're going to have going right now. 
can at least put the uh, miners down. Nothing else for a placeholder holder. Do something like that. Man, those buggers are annoying. And uh yeah, we're we're gonna have to do something to defend those miners. I am assuming. Alright, so instead of uh, routing a material belt all the way down there, which takes a lot of resources, I'm going to go ahead and make a railroad. So we'll take our belts, move that down there ish. And we'll go ahead and build some track. And don't have enough engines, but I can get some of that stuff made. And we'll just go ahead and drive back to base here. Assuming my car doesn't blow up first. All right, so we've got that. Um, And I'm going to need much more copper. There, we've got at least a couple stacks there. Um, motherfucker. Those guys. Um, let's go ahead and get some laser turrets produced. Uh, what, what all did I need? I needed engines. Uh, so I've got engines, I've got, uh, laser turrets being made, I've got more steel on the way, I need more, uh, electric poles, that's for sure. And that should be all I currently need. I'll go ahead while we're here and uh, pick this guy up. I'll go ahead and pick up some more walls. Why are you not? Whatever. Um, walls. Probably only need one stack of those, that should be fine. Uh, might as well pick up some more concrete. I didn't want all of that. Let's go ahead and get two more stacks of that. Uh, we can get the limestone out of my inventory. And we can get more stone out of my inventory too. Since I really don't have a use for that. So we'll do that. Um, let's go ahead and make more oh, cobblestone. Let's go ahead and make more concrete roads. We'll just go straight up with another lane, basically. Keep that there. And we'll go on this side to avoid that coal. Something like that. What is being destroyed? Seriously? What the fuck, guys? Where are they even getting through at? This is 
ridiculous. It's getting awfully stupid. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another robot port. And I'm going to just put it up here to help repair all this shit because I really don't want to uh, deal with it manually. And what's the point of uh, having turrets if you can't use them? They're not turrets, robots. That's what we would be using. Hopefully, I can reach. Yeah, I should be able to reach over there. Okay, so where to go? Here. Alright, I'm gonna stick you. Right in here. Actually, we'll go right in there. Sounds like a plan. I need some more of these guys. There. And that should help me replace a lot of the stuff that just got damaged. What else do we need? We need Bunch of shit. Okay, let's go with Looks like all the uh power stuff has plenty for right now. Never mind. Wow. Well, been used to playing a different map and don't know where all my supplies are. Um, this needs to be a provider chest. So we'll go ahead with that. Um, I need more that type of pipe. And I need two boilers. Oh, this is ridiculous. Of course, all that stone that I had is doing me no good right now. Alright. But they're working away, so that's something, at least. Let's go ahead and pick up a little bit of stone. We'll go ahead and make five boilers. We'll help them out. Let's put a uh, storage chest down. I don't need that iron right now. You guys need to start making uh, more stuff. Alright, so what else are you missing? You need boilers. Alright, I'm going to put that storage box down just as a general whatever you need box. You need that, you need that. You need underground pipes, which I have some. You need a radar and a couple splitters. So we'll make a few splitters. We'll make a radar unit. And hopefully that'll get us back to square one. So, how badly... 
how bad a shape are we in? Here, it looks like we got most things uh, producing again, at least, so that's good. Just need a few additional things to help everything go smoothly. Okay, so splitters are going to go down. Let's see. Splitters, let's put you in there too because I'm not going to use you. Um, splitters in what? Oh, radar. Okay. So that should make everything run smoother. Hopefully. And it looks like it is. Gravy. All right, and with that, I am over my 30 minute time limit. So, next time, um, hopefully, I will be completing that uh, mining operation that I have going on up by the copper and uh, figuring out where all these freaking biters are coming from. Probably over on this side of the lake, honestly. But uh, yeah, so definitely working on defenses, definitely working on copper. Uh, we're kind of in a bad spot right now, but uh, at least I have a plan. So until next time, thanks for watching, and as always, take care of yourselves out there.